What's good, Super Riders? I must have done something right. In this box behind me here is the Inspired Hex Team Bike. This is the 26 inch Street Trials bike that they make. I've been riding their 24 inch bike, the 4Play Pro, for the last year or so, and I've just always wanted to know how the 26 inch wheeled version rode. So I procured a bike for myself, and we're gonna unbox it now. But before we do that, don't forget to smash like, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm gonna do it for you. All right, let's unbox this thing. This is my favorite part right here. It's fair to ask why I'm trading in my Inspired 4Play for an Inspired Hex. There's really three reasons behind it. Number one, I learned everything about trials on 26 inch wheels. All of my pedal timing, all my muscle memory, everything I think about when I'm riding trials is based off a 26 inch wheel. Number two is that I bought a 24 inch trials bike because at the time, all the top riders were just crushing it on these 24 inch trials bikes. And I thought there must be some massive advantage that they have that's allowing them to do what they're doing. I wanna try a bike like that and find out. And the last thing is that, actually I've never really ridden a, tr a Street Trials bike with 26 inch wheels. This is gonna be my first one. Every other 26 inch bike I rode was either a competition bike or like a cross country bike that had been sort of modified to do Street Trials. So this is really my first ever 26 inch Street Trials bike. But based on my history as a rider and what I know about this bike, I feel like this is gonna be my bike right here. That's enough unpacking for now. Let's actually unpack it. This is amazing. <laughs> so we've got this box here with all the good stuff in it. It's got a chain stay protector, necessary. Two pairs of Magura MT7s with the special lever on them. Bunch of paperwork, through axles. Oh dang, okay. Crank Brothers pedals. Actually, I didn't know these came with it. This is sick. Uh, this is the chain tensioner. I'll show you this one in a bit. Disc brake bolts. I think this is the chain. Yep. Very beefy KMC chain. I think this is actually the handlebar. Let's have a quick chat about handlebars. So these are the handlebars that come on the bike. This is an 80 mil rise, meaning that it's 80 millimeters from here to here. And this is the size and shape that's the gold standard for street trials riding. It comes on the top of the line bike from Inspired, the team model. Now I had a pro model last year, which is the second to best model that they make. And you can see there's a substantial difference between the rise in the bars. And I never understood this and I still really don't. What I did last year when I got the foreplay, I replaced this bar with the Deity high side bar, which is actually the exact same shape as the top end inspired bars. And for this bike that I'm building up, I'm not even gonna put those inspired bars on. I'm just gonna go straight into the Deity bars. I've been running these on all my bikes. I trust them and it's red, it matches my new bike. So this is what I'm riding. So what are my expectations for this bike? You know, I think that it's gonna be a lot more comfortable, not just because it's a bigger size and it might fit me a little bit better, but I think also my comfort coming from a 26 inch background is gonna help me progress on this bike quite a bit faster than I did. When I was riding 24, I still had a lot to learn and a lot to adjust to, and that probably held my progression back a fair bit. So to get back on 26 inch wheels is probably gonna make a pretty big difference in terms of my progression and my comfort and everything I'm able to do. I just feel like I'm gonna be a lot more comfortable to push myself. I also think that the wheel size is probably better for rolling, and that's gonna help me out a lot when it comes to doing a lot of the moves that I like doing. I love bunny hops, I love riding up onto stuff, I love smashing my front wheel into things and going up to back wheel, and I just think that the bigger wheels would probably help out a lot with these kind of things. I know I said this before, but I kind of feel like this is gonna be my go-to bike, and I desperately kind of need it because I've had a lot of different bikes and I haven't been able to decide which one was gonna be the one, and I just feel like there's something special with this bike that it's gonna be my main bike. Kind of ironic that the last bike I had in the stand was my old Street Trials bike from the late 90s, early 2000s. This is a Schwinn Homegrown. This is basically a cross country bike that we turned into a Street Trials bike and used to compete on this thing. I could bunny hop super high on it. Now I'm gonna take it out and put something new in that will do basically the same thing, but probably a lot better. I love this color. Ooh. I have such high expectations for it, but I feel like it's gonna deliver.
One other thing I'm doing totally different on this bike is I've changed to Hope Cranks. So the previous bike I had, the 4Play Pro, came with Truvative Descendant Cranks, and they were great except when I needed to change one of the cranks out because I stripped the pedal out, I couldn't get the crank off, and it was actually a design issue with the crank itself. I looked it up on the internet, all this stuff. So hopefully these cranks work slightly better. I've been really impressed with Hope brakes in the past, so I have high hopes. <laughs> Before I finish building up this bike, let's just take a quick second and admire what Inspired has actually done. There's no wonder this is the gold standard of Street Trials bikes. This thing is so well thought out. They've really thought about every single detail and they've put it together beautifully. So this bike has a really cool option in that you can run your brake lever through the stem cap. So you can do bar spins and tail whips and stuff like that. To do that, you actually have to unhook the hose and then put it back together and hopefully not put any air in the line or anything like that. And one of the things I actually wanna test with this bike is different stem lengths and stuff like that, which would require me to just open this hose up multiple times to get it right. And because I wanna start working on the stem length pretty much right away, I'm not gonna do that routing through the stem just yet. And truthfully, I don't really bar spin or tail whip that much, so maybe I won't ever do it. In any case, you could do it if you wanted with this bike, I'm just not gonna do it right now. One of the interesting things that I noticed when I was watching Ali build up his bike was actually that he's running 203 millimeter rotors and I'm actually running 180s because that's what comes stock on this bike. But also it says in the warranty that if you put 203 millimeter rotors on here, you actually void the warranty. So I'm gonna start with 180s, but I'm really curious to see, I'm sure at some point I'll test 203s, but I'm curious to see how big of a difference it actually makes. Nearly there, the last thing I need to do is get the drivetrain sorted. So I've gotta put pedals on, I've gotta put the chain on, the most important bit, the chain tensioner, which I'm gonna go into a little bit of extra detail on. And then of course, the final piece, the chain state protector. I'm not sure if there's a trial specific chain, but this KMC chain is pretty close. And I've had this on my other bikes and it's super sturdy. They've made BMX parts and stuff in the past, so you know it's super strong. This is kind of the go-to for everyone as far as I know. Now I had to shorten it up just a little bit because we're gonna put a chain tensioner in here. I'm just gonna put this little power link in between here to connect the chain, and then we're gonna put the chain tensioner in, then we should be good to go. One question I get is how I tighten my chain on the bike. And you may have seen this in the past, but there's a piece called a chain tensioner, which actually bolts onto the bottom of the frame. There's two holes right here that the mounting hardware works with. And the reason why we need it on this bike is that it doesn't have horizontal dropouts. A lot of other single speed bikes, you can slide the wheel forward and backwards and there's a contraption here that kind of tightens things up. But for a bike that has a through axle like this where the wheel is not gonna move, you need to have a chain tensioner and most of them bolt onto the frame and there it's just a little spring and it just puts some extra tension on the chain and you're good to go. Last piece to add, we've got some pedals and then I think it's just tweaks. You gotta fill up the tires and tweak the brake levers a little bit. We're so close. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm gonna start with about 40 PSI in the tires and we'll just kind of play with it from there. But that's usually what I start with for a street trial setup. You know, one thing I'm noticing on this bike is that the, the wheels are actually really thin. The, the tires themselves are 2.2, which I don't know, maybe call me an old school trials guy, but I used to have like 2.5s on my bike and to have thin wheels on here, I mean, I guess you want low rolling resistance for street trials riding, but I guess I would have expected something a little bit beefier on a trials bike. Look at this thing. So there's one piece of advice I would give you if you're setting up this bike for the first time, and it's on the brake lever, there's a tiny adjustment knob about halfway down, and it will take your Maguras from zero to hero. It's crazy how much turning this one bolt right here makes such a difference in the braking power. But if you're having any trouble with the brakes, try this knob right here. You'll be surprised how much better they work. One thing I could say, this bike just feels lighter. It feels like I'm gonna be able to throw it around a little bit better. And of course, it's a little bit higher spec than the pro model that I previously had for my four play, but I actually expected it to weigh a little bit more just because of the wheel size and everything else. So I don't know, I'm pretty excited. I feel like this is the bike. Just got these few little tweaks to make, just to get my handlebars in the right place and all that. I'm probably gonna try some different stems just to get a good feel for how this bike is supposed to go. But overall, it feels like it's gonna be great. It feels like it's gonna give me all the things I've been kind of hoping for. I almost forgot the most important part of building this bike and it was putting my sticker on it. Can't forget the new Super Rider sticker. <laughs> now it's complete. So I'm gonna do a bit of a test in a minute here just to make sure everything kind of works. I'm probably not gonna send it too hard just because you know, I still need to properly burn in the brakes and do stuff like that, but just get a feel for this bike and 
get excited about it and, and all that. Just rolling around on this bike, I've got a pretty good feeling about it. I think it definitely warrants a full first ride video. So while I'm making that, go check out my first ride on the Inspired 4Play video, which I put right here. And if you want to start learning some trial stuff, go here and check out the playlist.